Alright, it's Sunday the 19th of December, day 19. It's just flown by. We're on the home stretch now, only a few beers left. Let's get right into it and see what we got today. Alright, we have a small can, which... It's solid cut. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Monkey Brew doesn't do any small cans at all, so it, it pretty much has to be solid cut. Alright, blind on. It's another can, so it's going to be interesting to be pouring a uh, blind. We'll see. I'll probably get some on the table, but it's not such a big deal getting it on the table as it is getting it on the floor. Uh, yeah. Give it a shot! Oh, I think it's working out. Alright, I think we have, we have beer in a glass. We have a dry table. Success, what? Well, okay, not completely dry table. It's a slightly wet table, but <laughs> success. There's beer in a glass, that'll do. Alright. Well, well, well. Okay, it's pretty hilarious that I did this side-by-side -side tasting of Sali Yule yesterday because I am like 95% certain that this is Sali Yule. <laughs> oh, I, I bought a lot of that beer, so I've been drinking a fair bit of it throughout December. Um, I like, we, I, I made Pinnachat on Friday night uh, and with the Pinnachat we had uh, four cans of Sali Yule uh, as well as I had it yesterday to compare with, uh, with Buddy. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's what we got today. Um, so, a whole weekend of Sally Yule. Not bad. Not bad. Well, I mean, I could, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I mean, how many, how many uh, classic uh, Yule uh, does Sally Cut make in a small can? Uh, I think it's probably Sally Yule. <laughs> yeah. So getting the, uh, getting that roasty, roastier note, roastier profile than Buddy was yesterday. Um, I get the slight lager note. I mean, I said that about Buddy, but I'm I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I get it here. <sighs> Very clean. Uh, it's just on the roastier side of caramel. Uh, yeah. Nice, easy drinking, light combination. A lot of caramel malt sweetness. Yeah, it has to be salut. It has to be, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm. I don't really know what else to say about it because I'm. Pre I'm so certain <laughs> at this point that it has to be. So blindfold off. Let's let's uh, have a look. Yep, that reinforces my uh, my opinion. Everything about it says it was Salyul, and to be honest, I mean, I saw it was a small can. And that kind of gives it away pretty quickly, actually. Um, all of the solid cards so far in the calendar have been large cans, so... I mean, how blind was this really? So, I guess, in lieu of uh, actually tasting it blind... Man, it's gonna be hilarious if I'm wrong now. If solid cut really actually made a couple of different Christmas beers. Or if... <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. If solid cut made a brown ale... <laughs> like, in the style of Buddy, and that that's what this was... That would be amazing. I, I really hope that's true because that would be freaking hilarious. But I'm 95% sure that this is Sally You. So for me, this is one of my, my favorite Christmas beers. It's the beer that I like to pair with um, with my uh, Christmas dinner. Uh, the last couple of years, at least. Um, I think it's on, I, I don't know if it was brewed before. Yeah, I think it was brewed before 2020. But 2020 was where I really got into it. Uh, Yoni Och always says that there's there's three ways that you can pair a beer. You can have you can have uh, some um, thirst quencher, thirst to uh, You can have a um, sort of symbiosis of ingredients like uh, smoke goes with smoke, uh, sweet goes with sweet, that kind of thing. Um, or you can have a contrast. And for me, uh, Sali you fit somewhere in between thirst to and uh, and contrast. So you have those those salty, fatty notes from the the pinachot, salty, fatty and funky notes from the pinachot, and smoke as well. I mean, I in my opinion, in my opinion, pinachot has to be smoked. 
That's going to be controversial, in my opinion. No, I, I, I prefer it. I, I prefer the taste of smoked spinach better. better. It's, that's just uh, my preference. Uh, I, it's an inherited preference. Preference. My girlfriend is from a place where the spinach must be smoked. Uh, and I have sort of inherited that as well, but I make it myself now, and, and uh, like we d I did a uh, mesquite smoked uh, pinochet this year, and it was really nice. It was really nice. Very strong smoke flavor. Mesquite is a little bit like uh, juniper, uh, I know, um, but <clears throat> a, little bit, a, little bit, uh, a little bit more pungent smoke profile, uh, and it was really nice with pinochet. Uh, and this works well because uh, cold, it's a really nice thirst quencher, um, but also the contrast of, of the salty, funky, fatty pinachat with this sweet, clean, caramely lager, uh, it really works. It really works. And why do I like this one over any other Christmas beer? Well, I mean, partially it has to do with uh, brewery allegiance, of course. I mean, I love Sardicat, what can I say? But it is... An incredibly well-made version of it. It's very clean. Uh, the, the It has a perfect, rides this knife edge of a perfect amount of caramel and a perfect amount of roast without getting into the um, the sometimes sherry-ish chocolate notes that I uh, don't tend to love. Some of them, you put too much chocolate malt in there, you put too much black malt in there, you get into the darker malts. It's very hard to get something which doesn't punch you in the face a little bit from one of those things which, in my opinion, doesn't totally fit in that food pairing world. Uh, and I, f I think that's, that's actually probably one of the traps that a lot of craft beers, uh, craft Christmas beers get into in Norway, is that they, they try to, um, to make themselves special in a way, they try to create their own recipe, uh, and more often than not, those recipes t tend to accentu accentuate one specific element of those dark malts, and it sort of just gets in a way. Uh, some people love it, and that's totally valid. Uh, but if I'm doing something that I can take to like a family uh, Christmas dinner, where like I'm the beer geek, uh, they are definitely not that interested in beer. <laughs> so you, but they, but they are definitely open to a Christmas beer. Of course, that's that's a traditional thing. I mean, like. People who aren't beer, beer nerds are totally up for Christmas beers with Christmas dinner. And this is perfect for that. Whereas one that, that punches on those chocolate notes or those black malt notes, uh, that's going to be a little bit less... I mean, I'm not sure they'll be as sold on that. And for me, it just works better. It's more integrated with the food uh, when it sits in the back and it acts more as a thirst quencher with a little bit of contrast. The other thing is that it's it's just incredibly clean. It has a, it has those slight uh, lager notes both on the nose and in the flavour. Um, has a really nice but subtle bitterness. It's just my favourite Christmas beer. What can I say? I think I I love the the double bock Yule style. Like uh, Ringnes Yule bock is the absolute classic. I love it. This is just too much alcohol for me. I can drink exactly twice as much of. Sali Yul, as I can drink of Ringnes Yulebok, uh, because it's it's almost exactly half the uh, alcohol percentage. And I get just as good an experience out of Sali Yul, to me. Alright, I mean, what else to do, but, I mean, I talked so much about it as if it was Sali Yul. I am 97% certain now. But, let's find out that it's a brown ale from Salikot. <laughs> well, thank fuck for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no real surprises there. It would have been fucking hilarious if it was a brown ale, but um, thank, thank goodness. And luckily, one that is possible to go and buy more of. I'm pretty sure you can buy it at, um, at Gulating, at a lot of Gulating stores. Oh, well, absolutely delicious. I mean, the other great thing about it I like is, I mean, it's just a really good lager. Uh, and there is always room in my fridge for a very good lager. Wonderful stuff. It took 19 days, but we finally got a Yulel. How about that? Cheers. I mean, I hope I've sold you on this beer as much as I am sold in this beer. I absolutely love it. Um, after my experience with it last year, I stocked seriously up on it this year, so... You should too. <laughs> I know it's what I'm going to be drinking on Christmas Eve with the Pinachet. 
Alright, cheers and I'll see you tomorrow.